Hello everyone, Callum here from KB Ants and welcome back to yet another video. Before we start with the video, I just want to say that this video was made in association with antlady.co.uk and I'll leave a link in the description below to a website. So today's video, we're going to be introducing you to my parasitic ant species, which is Lassius umbaratus, uh, which I got from the ant lady herself. Um, I've had them for a while now and they seem to be doing really well. Um, they've got lots of eggs, um, a fair few uh, pupae as well as you can see. Um, I'm really looking forward to having the orange workers come out because uh, if you don't know already, um, this species does look in appearance, appearance wise a lot similar to Lassius flavus. So I'll have a period where I've got black Niger workers and some um, Lassius umbratus workers, which are orange in colour. Um, I've had this species for a while, like I've said, um, really enjoying keeping them. I've got them in a um, bamboo test tube with the nursery art world attached, and it's done really well for this purpose of you know rearing this colony. Um, when I got this colony from the ant lady, I had the Lassius umbratus queen and probably about 20 Lassius niger workers. Um, if you don't know, this species, um, the way this uh, species finds their colony is that they can't do it on themselves. They can't, like normal species, dig a hole and, you know, make their own colony from scratch. The Lassius umbratus queen, once um, they've had mating flights, she'll go and seek out uh, Lassius niger colonies. And once she's found one, she'll lay in wait until a uh, Lassius niger worker comes close, which then she'll grab, kill, and gain the colonies sent from that um, worker. And then she'll, she'll find the host colony and um, walk up to that colony with no aggression and um, really calmly um, and if the Lassius Niger workers accept her she'll um, process to go inside the colony and eventually kill the queen and take over from there and then in the end there will be a mixture of Lassius Umbaratus uh, workers and Lassius Niger workers eventually obviously the Niger workers will fade out and die um, because there's no Niger queen to keep replacing them um, yeah, then she'll use the Lassius Niger workers to bring up her own brood. They'll treat her as if she's the original queen and their own queen. Um, and that's how Lassius Umbratus starts a colony, which is really interesting and amazing. Um, they are native to the UK, Lassius Umbratus. Um, most of the time you probably see them and assume that the Lassius Flavus, uh, with the workers being orange, um, because they also uh, live in the same sort of areas as Lassius flavus, um, so meadows, stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're really beautiful species, the workers, um, a lot like Lassius flavus. So I'm looking forward to getting some um, Umbratus workers hatching. Um, I've got pupae, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, and as you can see, there's loads of eggs. Um, she's been really busy. Um, the key with this species is to not um, disturb them very often. That's why I've got them in this bamboo tube and I have foil covering the nesting area all the time. This is the only time I've actually seen them since I've had them from the ant lady. Because um, at this farming stage you want them to be um, as comfortable as possible. Um, and also keep these host workers alive for as long as possible because it's these workers that you know decide whether the colony fails or, or succeeds. So. You want to look after these workers the best you can. That's why I've got um, a liquid feeder in the small nursery art world um, with the ant lady's um, cotton candy liquid in it, just to make sure that the workers are getting all the um, carbohydrates and sugars, um, just to keep them going um, to help this colony um, succeed, succeed in um, finding. So they seem to be doing really well so far. So obviously I'm doing something right. Um, lots of eggs. Um, you know, they seem to be taking a lot of protein in as well. Um, and that's another thing you want to make sure that you give them plenty of because you want these new umbratus eggs and larvae to, you know, thrive and do well. Um, because obviously you just want this colony to um, get past farming stage and 
get their own umbratus workers. So the next time I'll probably update you on this colony will be when there's umbratus workers, because like I said, you want to disturb them as less as possible, just to make sure that they do survive. Um, if you were to find a, find a um, Lassius umbratus queen in the wild after nuptial flies, it'd be very difficult to start a colony of your own by just adding um, Niger, pupae or workers, um, it's not a very high success rate. That's why it was so good when I saw these for sale on the Ant Ladies website and you know already come in with um, the host species uh, workers. Um, I think she already came with some eggs as well, so you know it's, it's really good. I couldn't pass on the opportunity to keep the species. Um, I've always wanted a parasitic species. They're just really hard to find, found in the old-fashioned way of just capturing a queen. Um, so yeah, it was really good when I saw these with on the, the Ant Ladies website. Um, so yeah, the next time you see a video on these will be when they've got the Umbratus work. Because I don't want to disturb them any more than what I have done today. Um, the queen didn't seem to like it. The workers weren't too bothered. Um, but yeah, um, also next video that will be coming out will be a video on ants are us. Um, they sent me a, a colony. I'm not going to reveal too much because it won't be a surprise then. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a video on the, the colony that they've sent me um, to like review and um, just to talk about uh, talk a bit about their business as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to stay up to date all my latest videos. I hope to see you again in the next one.